point of the show really is the things we've discovered about the universe. As I said, the end of time inside black holes, or the fact that there are two trillion galaxies, right? Two trillion in the piece of the universe we can see. I don't think anyone knows what that means. Uh, no, even professional astronomers, you can't even picture those numbers. And so the real one of the real points of the show is to just allow people to think about the meaning of it all um, with the information that we've got. The, the key to science is being not only comfortable with not knowing, but being excited about it. First of all, you have to admit that mm. you don't know everything. And secondly, it's, it's like exploration. It's like you have to go to the horizon, to the edge of knowledge, mm. and look into the darkness, not with fear, but with excitement. And that, that's, that's the only thing you need to be a scientist. We're, we're collections of atoms, as old as time, some of them, mm. that can think and feel and explore the universe. And it's a good question on how many other planets did that happen. And you can make a pretty strong argument that the answer might be uh, non Right, at least in our galaxy. Yeah. So it could be that in our galaxy of 400 billion suns, mm -hmm. then there's just this little rock where things can think and write music and bring meaning to the universe. Um, and so that makes us extremely valuable and also extremely tiny. So we're not at the center of the universe. We're just a speck of dust. But there might be nowhere else where thoughts occur. 